were the Denisovans, and did they shake up the story of human evolution? Is it possible that delving into the world of Denisovan art could completely transform our understanding of prehistoric societies and the rich diversity of humans? Dr. Spondy Pabo won the Nobel Prize in 2022 for discovering the hormone leptin. He is also famous for the sequencing of the Denisovan genome. The Denisovans were not only a technologically advanced race, but they also displayed sophisticated social and cultural practices. They had a remarkable capacity for sophisticated problem solving and technological innovation, as demonstrated by their extraordinary ability to create art, sophisticated tools, and clothing. The Altai Mountains are located in Central and East Asia, spanning the borders of Mongolia, Russia, China, and Kazakhstan. The Altai Mountains' ancient name, the Golden Mountain, evokes images of the rich treasures buried within their wild and steep rocky landscape. Both Neanderthals and Denisovans once inhabited these lands in the Altai Mountains, with their mountain peaks and untamed wildlife. For them, these mountains have long been a place of survival, exploration, unimaginable wonders, and dreams. The Denisovans settled inside the safe and sheltered Denisova cave in the challenging environment of the Altai Mountains. The Denisovans formed close communities that helped each other cope with the difficulties of cave life. They were intelligent and creative, which allowed them to adapt to their environment and survive. In the 18th century, the cave was inhabited by an old believer hermit, Dionysi Denis, and was named after him. The local Altai people refer to it as Ayutash Bear Rock. The Dennis of a cave is surrounded by snow-capped peaks, forests, and meadows. The area is rugged, with steep cliffs, valleys, and rivers. The cave offers a stunning view of the natural beauty of the region. The cave has a spacious portal hall that leads to a series of smaller chambers. The main chamber of the cave is about 11 meters wide and 9 meters high. The main chamber is the largest chamber in the cave and has been used as a living space for the preparation and storage of food. This chamber has yielded some of the most important discoveries from the Denisova cave, including the finger bone from which the Denisovans were first identified. The analysis of the fossils has allowed scientists to reconstruct the region's prehistoric environment and climate as well as the survival practices of the prehistoric humans who lived in the cave. One particularly important tooth is the Denisovan molar, also known as the Denisova four. It belonged to a young female Denisovan that lived between 30,000 and 50,000 years ago. The hand axes also found in the East Gallery are made from high quality flint, chert, or local quartzite. The tools range in age from 280,000 years ago to 50,000 years ago and demonstrate a variety of different manufacturing techniques and tool styles. These ancient artifacts offer a glimpse of what might have been, of the world as it once was, and the people who lived within it. We are transported back in time, imagining the hominins who crafted and used these tools and jewelry, piecing together their daily lives and routines. These discoveries inspire us to delve deeper into the past, uncover more of its mysteries and treasures, and better understand our shared history as a species. Researchers discovered two pins made from the fibulae of marmots in the Denisova cave in 2021. These pins are very delicate and appear to have been used for tasks requiring precision and care, such as sewing or making jewelry. The pins have distinctive polishing traces on both the tips and the entire surface, indicating the skill of our ancient ancestors. They are still sharp, look polished, and are ready to be used more than 40,000 years after they were made. The pins were used either to, to hold up hair or stick together pieces of clothing, the researchers said. The ability to create such refined tools and objects also suggests that the Denisovans pass knowledge from generation to generation, from the old to the young. This fact further reinforces the idea of a highly organized and interdependent community. The Denisova cave needle, around 50,000 years old, was crafted of bird bone and featured a hole towards the top for thread insertion. The needle is evidence of a sophisticated and artistic approach to crafting. 
They had a vibrant cultural life with specialized professions that required a high degree of social organization and cooperation. In 2019, researchers discovered a mammoth tusk figurine of a cave lion figurine, estimated to be around 45,000 years old, which is the first zoomorphic sculpture of such great age found in Siberia. The tiny figurine is a miniature. The portrayed animal has a compacted belly and its hind legs are closed and pushed back, suggesting it is either in mid-gallop or preparing to jump, frozen in a characteristic sniffing pose of a feline. The surface of the figurine bears an ornament in the form of 18 rows of four notches. Through use wear analysis, researchers discovered remnants of red ochre, concentrated primarily on the right side of the animal near the abdominal cavity, which could signify a bleeding wound inflicted by another predator during a hunt or fight. The intricate design and careful crafting of the figurine suggest that it held symbolic meaning. The figurine was likely used in rituals or ceremonies. Denisovan jewelry included perforated animal teeth used as pendants for necklaces. These teeth, from different animals, were drilled to create holes to string them together into patterns. A collection of beads made of cut and drilled ostrich eggshells are between 50,000 to 45,000 years old. According to the experts, the beads are an amazing piece of work as the ostrich eggshell is a quite hard and large material and the holes must have been made with a fine stone drill. The finds are considered to be exquisite jewelry work of a very talented artist. One of the beads measures one centimeter in diameter, with a hole inside that is slightly wider than a millimeter. It is believed that the beads may have been sewn into clothing or formed part of a bracelet or necklace. The bracelet found in the Southern Gallery of Denisova Cave in the summer of 2021 is approximately 45,000 years old. The bracelet is made of white marble and has a smooth surface that was polished. The edges of the bracelet are neatly finished, and it has a symmetrical design with a central groove that runs around its circumference. It was made using a specialized tool. The overall appearance of the bracelet suggests that it was a symbol of social status or identity. It's fascinating to consider the hierarchy and social significance associated with the Denise of Intiara. As a symbol of identity, it likely denoted the wearers belonging to a particular family or tribe, indicating their status and perhaps even their role within the community. It's possible that those with higher social status or greater authority within the group were entitled to wear more elaborate or ornate tiaras, further emphasizing their position in the hierarchy. This adds a layer of complexity and depth to our understanding of their society and the ways in which they communicated social structures and identities through material culture. The Denisovan marble ring was found in a layer of sediment that has been dated to be from 50,000 to 30,000 years ago. The ring is crafted from polished marble and exhibits delicate artistry, indicating that it was likely created by a skilled craftsman. Over time, the ring suffered damage and broke, but instead of being discarded, it was repurposed into a pendant. This transformation of the broken ring into a new piece of jewelry demonstrates the resourcefulness and ingenuity of ancient people in finding creative ways to make the most of the materials available to them. The most famous artifact from the Dennis of a cave is this bracelet. It is one of the oldest known examples of jewelry in the world, dating back to 70,000 years ago. The bracelet is made from a material unusual for jewelry making chloride. Chloride is a hard, green mineral that is difficult to work with. Denisovans used cutting, grinding, and polishing techniques to shape and sculpt the chloride into its final form. They used sand, abrasive stones, drills, or chisels to grind and shape the chloride to create intricate designs and patterns as seen on the bracelet. The level of skill and craftsmanship required to create such a delicate and complex design on this material is impressive. The reflective properties of the chloride in the Denisovan bracelet generate captivating visual effects in diverse lighting scenarios. When exposed to sunlight, the bracelet reflects and refracts the sun's rays, producing a shimmering and radiant effect. In dimly lit environments, the bracelet presents a darker and less reflective appearance, adopting a deep green hue. 
It is possible that the Denisovan bracelet served as a form of personal adornment, symbolizing status and wealth. The bracelet may have been reserved for special occasions or worn only by a very important woman in the community. Its intricate crafting and unique reflective properties may have made it a symbol of prestige and power. Additionally, the bracelet's specific design and materials suggest that it may have had ritual or ceremonial purposes, such as being worn during important ceremonies or used in religious rituals. The Denisovan bracelet's intentional breakage could have been a result of a ritual or symbolic act, which is a common practice in many cultures. However, the way it was broken suggests a different scenario, possibly indicating a violent altercation. The positioning of the breakage may suggest that the wearer was in a self-defensive position during the struggle. In 2008, Professor Mikhail Shinkov's discovery of a finger bone fragment in the Denisova cave led to the identification of Denisovans. Recently, he made another groundbreaking discovery in the same cave. An ancient colored pencil made of hematite, believed to be the oldest tool of its kind in Eurasia. Our ancestors used this reddish-brown mineral to create the pencil used by cave dwellers about 50,000 years ago. Although we know how advanced techniques Denisovans used in crafting the famous Denisovan bracelet, the hematite pencil represents the single Denisovan art tool found so far. The bone fragments with engravings were discovered at the Lingjing site, Zhuchun County in Henan Province, China. The bone fragments were found in a cave at the site known as the Lingjing Cave or the Monkey Cave. The intricate engravings on animal bones found in northern China date back to 105 billion, 125,000 years ago and are truly magical in their beauty and complexity. The engravings on the Lingjing bones were made with a shark tool, such as a stone or bone point, and some of the engravings were also filled with ochre pigment, a type of colored earth. The use of ochre suggests that the Denisovans have reached an understanding of color and used it for symbolic purposes. As for now, this video is the only representation of the entire collection of Denisovan art. Our research began a year ago when we noticed a gap in the existing studies on their art. We felt it was important to honor their legacy by presenting their complete art collection. To understand and appreciate a work of art, it's essential to consider the broader cultural and historical context in which it was created. This context includes customs, life, and social structure which shape the ideas, styles, and techniques used by artists. Without this understanding, a work of art cannot be fully appreciated or discussed. Your attention means a lot to us. Thank you for tuning in and supporting us.